everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are working on some decluttering and organizing projects. As you can see here, my master closet was a total disaster and I had been shoving all of the clutter into it since we moved in. I live in an apartment and this closet is about all I have for real storage space. So I'm going to completely transform this for you guys today. But first, we are working on my son's room. I needed to go through all of his clothes and I wanted to try out the KonMari method of storing all of his clothing. So with the change of season from cold into warm, it was time for me to tackle his wardrobe and get that all sorted and organized. I'll also be showing you a really cute DIY I put together for displaying his artwork that he brings home from daycare. But before we start these organization projects, his room just needed to be tidied and his furniture wiped down. But I think I'm losing it. Tell me where your heart is. These days, are you being honest with me? I don't want to go this cray cray. But I think I'm losing it back. I think I'm losing it. I think I'm losing it. I think I'm losing it back. I think I'm losing it. I think I'm losing it. I think I'm losing it back. I've been staring at my phone too long Feel my eyes getting tired And the battery is long, long gone Oh, no, no There is something you're not telling me But I can't wrap my head around it You said you and I were meant to be Last week You could be running off with somebody else Ooh, boy, I ask myself If you are new to my channel, I just want to take a second to introduce myself. My name is Catherine. I am a recently single mom to an almost three-year-old boy named Carson. I cannot believe he's going to be three. Time is just flying by. We recently moved into this apartment and it has kind of inspired me to start sort of a small apartment organization series here on my channel. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you enjoy cleaning and organizing motivation and you turn your notification bells on so you don't miss my future uploads. I could free ourselves from agony But without you here it's hard to keep my thoughts clean now that Carson is fully potty trained, we're not using his changing table anymore. We kind of weren't anyway because he had totally outgrown the thing. Carson has always been in the 99th percentile for height and weight. He's a really big kid. He's turning three at the beginning of July. So it was time for me to take off the changing table topper to his dresser, but it was a little bit sad because it's just another part of his babyhood that is over, but I'm really, really happy that he's finally potty trained. I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty, but you came along and showed me with everything that's going on in the world, we don't get out very often anymore, so I just kind of shopped my own house for a few things to throw in his dresser, and then once I did that, I had to throw in a load of laundry for him. Now that he's potty trained, we do have some accidents, so I feel like we go through clothing a lot faster, plus in the warm weather, he gets a lot dirtier playing outside. Now it was time for me to move on to doing some of the clothing organizing so I just emptied all of his drawers out. I also found a bunch of diapers that we weren't using anymore so I donated those to my sister because she has a son who is actually just a month younger than Carson and he's not yet potty trained. So I was sending her all the diapers because she could use them and just emptying out every single drawer with all of Carson's clothes so that I could have it all laid out in front of me to fold it and sort it, find things that don't fit him anymore, put aside a stack for donations, and get all of his summer clothes ready for the season. I did not have to buy Carson really any new t-shirts for this season, so that's really exciting. He still fits into his old shirts, but shorts are a different story. This kid has super long legs, so all of his shorts were way too short and they were a little bit tight around the waist, so I did have to buy him some new shorts. 
When I was filming this video though, I had not purchased them yet because I really wanted to go through all of his clothes and just make sure I didn't happen to have any larger size shorts anywhere before I went out and purchased some new ones. I did not want to bore you guys with just folding laundry for a really long time so I sped this way up to 800% so that I could get through this really really quickly and it wouldn't take up the entire video just folding laundry. I am no expert at the Kanmari method of folding. I probably am not even doing it fully right. I didn't watch any tutorials. I didn't watch anyone in detail showing me how to fold it. I haven't watched any of the documentaries that have to do with the Kanmari method. I just kind of did what I, it looked to me like other people were doing in YouTube videos, just kind of rolling my clothes up, well, Carson's clothes in this case, and just making sure that they could stand on their own. So in no way do I think I did a perfect job folding Carson's clothes like this, but I was still happy with the way that everything turned out and I think in the future I will continue to do this. Storing all of Carson's clothes this way saved me so much room. I didn't even fill up all of the drawers in his dresser and I have a whole other dresser um, on the other side of his room that is not full either. So I have a ton of room to store things. I don't even use his dressers just for his clothing. At this point, I store his books in it. I store a bunch of random things. So I'm glad that we freed up a ton of space to store some of his things. Even though I'm no longer storing Carson's clothes in his closet, I don't want to get rid of these hangers. The velvet hangers are really, really nice and I think that when we get a house in the future, I could still have a use for them, so I'm just going to keep all of these hangers. Summer, so let's make it count. You make me feel like everything's alright. Next, we're going to work on hanging up these, I don't even honestly know what to call them. They are just two pieces of wood that I sanded and I stained them and I attached clips onto them and I'm just putting them on the wall using command strips and I think they came out so cute and they're just to store Carson's artwork. So he sends home a ton of projects from daycare, from school, whatever you wanna call it. And I just never had anywhere to put them. I'm not one who hangs things on their fridge. I don't really like it. So I'm really happy that I can display Carson's artwork in his room and this way he can look at it, he can pick which things he wants hanging up there. I'm already thinking of some art projects that we can do together to hang up there that would be really, really cute. But when he saw this, he was thrilled about it. So this was a super easy DIY project. I think I made this back in the fall and I just never got around to hanging any of it up because as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, we have had a ton going on <laughs> this season of our lives. So. Here's the finished product. I'm so happy with the way it came out and the command strips hang it up super well and they keep it right flat to the wall the way I wanted them to. I am a huge e-cloth lover, but my e-cloths were all dirty and needed to be washed. So in this video, I'm just using a regular microfiber cloth and my Thieves household cleaner. I don't have to party to have 
So here we have my master closet, a complete and total disaster. I haven't been to work in months because of everything going on. So I had laundry baskets full of work clothes that needed to be put away. I had bedding that I was trying to get rid of. I had hampers everywhere. My wedding dress is still in this closet. It was just a mess and needed to be dealt with. It was something that every single time I went into my bedroom to go to bed, it would stress me out because the closet door would be open and I'd see it. And every single time I go from my bedroom into my bathroom, I'd walk through here and it would stress me out. So this was a project that really needed to be done, not just to make it look nice, but to make me feel better. Now, typically, if you are decluttering using the Kanmari method, you would take every single thing out of a space and leave it completely empty to go through it. But that honestly seemed too daunting to me for this particular closet. I wanted to work in sections. Also, here's Carson wearing a Blippi costume. If you guys don't know who Blippi is, then you should. You should look him up. Carson loves him. But anyway i just wanted to start in sections so the first thing that i was doing here is just going through all of the laundry folding it all getting that all put away and again i sped this way up because i don't want to bore you guys just folding laundry forever but this took me a really long time I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Once I was finally done with all the laundry, I went back into my closet and started taking some other things out. So this is just a bunch of sweatshirts. I didn't like the way that they looked up on top of the shelf in the closet. And I bought a bed that is actually raised up and I can store things under it. So I got myself an under the bed storage container and I'm just folding up my sweatshirts so that I can fit them all nicely under the bed. You said goodbye like everything's gone. The next thing I'm doing is putting away all of the work clothes that has been sitting in this laundry basket since I moved in. It was time for me to get that all hung up and out of the laundry basket and free that thing up. But like I said, I was just working in sections for this video. If I took everything out of this closet and laid it all in my bed, I think I would probably cry and I would not want to go through with any of it because it would just seem so daunting. So working in sections sometimes is okay, even if that's not what the professional declutterers will tell you. I do want to say that a lot of this stuff had been sitting in my apartment since we moved in back in March. 
So for me, I'm not touching any of these things for over two months. And that says something about whether or not I actually need these things. So I was being really, really honest with myself and brutal with myself about what I actually needed to keep. And I wanted to make sure that I minimalized this space as much as possible. So the majority of the things that I'm going through in this video, actually, I ended up getting rid of either donating or throwing in the trash, depending on what kind of condition they were in. But I got rid of so much stuff and it felt amazing. Trying to take on a project like this with Carson and my cat around was very difficult because they wanted to be in on every single thing that I was doing, but I am a single mom and you gotta do what you gotta do. So Carson doesn't really nap anymore and I was forced to kind of take on this project when he was awake, but he actually was a little bit helpful sometimes. He does enjoy helping and if I hand him something and tell him to put it away somewhere or throw it in the trash, he will do that for me. So at least there's that. I got these gray containers from Target. They were actually the last four that they had in the store. So I'm very glad that I was able to snatch them up. But my plan was to use those containers to put them on the highest shelf in my closet and just store a bunch of things in there. I think that as long as you have some kind of uniform looking container, it just makes any space look a little bit better. I don't like having a ton of different mismatched containers. Even though I wasn't going for like a Pinterest perfect closet, I was just going for decluttered and a little bit easier to manage. I still do like to try and be a little bit uniform and make things look as pretty as I can without spending a ton of money. I have a really hard time getting rid of things that are sentimental to me, especially when they come to Carson. I like to keep like any copies we have of Christmas cards or birthday invitations or cards that people give him. I just have a really hard time with letting go of those things. So this box was actually full of a ton of stuff like that, but I try to keep my collection of sentimental items just what fits in this box and if it doesn't fit in the box i go through it and i just try to be as honest with myself as possible about what i actually need and get rid of the things that i don't So I've got all my work clothes over here, which I do need to still go through these and figure out what I want to keep and what I want to donate. I really don't have that much, but I need to go through that. And then up top, I just have a bunch of bins. 
that one just has things from my nightstand back from my old house and then this one just has a jewelry box in it it just looked better than putting the jewelry box and then these two are empty so i have space to add some more things which i'm going to need because i have to go through all of this at some point a lot of this i'm getting rid of but sometimes you gotta make a mess in order to clean up one so i've got my just like a dirty clothes hamper right here and then that's a shoe rack that used to be in my old house and I don't want to get rid of it so I'm just keeping it in here and then this is my other shoe rack and then I've got my camera bag this is a box full of like Carson's hospital papers and like just memories like his hospital bracelet and pictures and things that are special to me so I've got those in there this is all my extra cords and just any of my like technology related stuff and then i've got my stuart weitzman boots that i'm actually selling on the mercari app so if any of you guys are ever interested in the stuart weitzman lowland over the knee boots these are amazing um i just waste them because i never wear them and i feel bad and then i have like a fireproof safe up there over here it's really not anything special over here but it's still a little bit better than it was before um, this is a box full of my maternity clothes that I should probably donate but at the same time I do want to have another baby someday so it's wishful thinking and then I've got all my decor so all the seasonal stuff I've got like fall here spring these two are Christmas and then Christmas wrapping paper this is a really really heavy TV mount and the hardware that goes with it so I'm keeping that for when I eventually need one and this is the only place I have to store it this is just a bunch of Victoria's Secret bags that I got free with purchase, but these come in handy a lot. Like if I'm, I don't know, going somewhere and I need to pack a bag, <laughs> I really like those because they're big. I used one of them as like my hospital bag, I remember when I was having Carson, so I'm just keeping those. And then I've got, these are more like casual things that I just prefer to hang up or they're like my dresses like this one i'm wearing for mother's day pictures that carson and i were supposed to have done back in may and then everything happened and they've been rescheduled so those are soon so keeping that and then i've got an old bag that i never use probably should get rid of it up there i just can't reach it and then that's a pair of jeans that i'm probably going to sell as well because i do not like the way they fit me and they were so expensive and i couldn't get Neiman Marcus to take them back like way back in the day and I've never worn them so probably should sell those that's Carson's Easter basket and then these are just my jackets because I don't have a coat closet so I'm storing all my jackets in here and my wedding dress which I'm trying to donate I heard about an organization from one of you guys that takes old wedding dresses and turns them into gowns for babies who don't make it um, to be buried in and I really want to donate it to them, but I haven't heard back from them yet, so I'm holding on to it, hoping. And then this is Carson's birthday party supplies, so these won't be staying here. I just don't have anywhere else to put them. And then this is all extra blankets and pillows and things. So it's not perfect, but compared to before, it's definitely a lot neater in here. And now I need to work up the energy to get rid of all of that. That is all for this week's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and it was a satisfying transformation because for me, it definitely has been. Every single time I walk into my room now, I'm excited that my closet is decluttered and organized and it just feels so much better mentally. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I post every single week. Also, you can come follow me on Instagram if you're interested in seeing more of my day-to-day -day life. I'm pretty active over on my stories, so definitely come find me over there if you are interested. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you will come back for my next video. Just watch me breaking.